Shalom, like they say, God. All praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Ha, Kadash, okay, double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, and peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and um, it's going to be a video based on uh, Elder Apostle uh, 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 Gabar's video. All right, uh, I believe the title was uh, Esau is Full of Crap. All right, and I say that because, all right, one of the points that uh, Elder Gabar brought out was his 2019. And uh, from what you're seeing throughout history of the so-called white man, which is Esau Edom, all right? And that's how I'm gonna re uh, refer to him throughout the video, you know, because I'm uh, at the plantation, okay? So the so-called white man is Esau Edom, according to the Bible, okay, in the history that the, uh, that depicts him, okay, and the prophecies that depict him from out of the Holy Scriptures, okay, so Esau Edom is the so-called white man, all right, but yet yeah, going on, uh, it's 2019, and you can see that this uh, devil, which is Esau, all right, the nation of Edom, is our enemy, okay, in more ways than one. Uh, never mind what you think, and when I say you, I'm talking about the, the people that's not in the know, that's not in the truth, okay, the people that still live on the... Uh, the, the the concept thinking of Esau could be our friend one day. If that was so, it would already be. All right. And um, just looking at the track record, man, okay, from the Native Americans to the Negroes, okay, to the Latinos now and then before, but all the incidents that's been occurring, okay, He's a sociopath. He's a man of addition. He is a man of violence. Okay. He's a fool. All right. And he knows nothing, man. He's profane to say uh, uh, the most. Okay. So when you look throughout uh, history, all this depicts him, okay? I just got a couple of scriptures, man, you know, to, to further point it out. I mean, if you're not reading the news, if you're not uh, circumspect, I guess you would think that he is your friend, but popular uh, popular beliefs or uh, popular <laughs> evidence at this point shows that uh, he is not, okay? And he has set out to destroy you since uh, uh, your birth, okay? After you got his birthright, so to speak. So I'm just going to bring it out, you know. First thing, first. Okay. This is Genesis 27 and 41. It says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing, but with his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then would I slay my brother Jacob. Okay. And that's what you, uh, that's what you, that's what you see until this day. Okay. He had a perpetual hatred for us. Okay. And it says, uh, and you can see by the acts that he carries out, okay? You read the history, <clears throat> okay? What he did to his uh, brother's progenitors, okay? 
our brother's uh, lineage, okay, Jacob's lineage, which are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, Israel which are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? <clears throat> Read the history, okay? All the way to these days right now, man. And it says, and these words of Esau, her eldest son were told to Rebekah, and she sent and called Jacob her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doeth comfort himself, purposing to kill thee. And that's all the way until this day, man. Okay. So you can't you can't trust Esau Edom. All right. You can supplant him, you know. Keep them at arm's length, you know. Do what you have to do, and 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 get away from the devil, man. Okay. Just like in that uh, uh, let's see, in Batman, you don't want to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight, man. You don't. Okay. Know who your enemy is. Okay. Use them, but don't 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 treat them as a friend okay let me go to uh, this scripture right here it's lucky Ecclesiastes 12 and 10 okay it says never trust our enemy for like it's iron rubbed so it's his wickedness yeah so that that smell okay just this picture it as an iron bar okay that smell is polished. Oh, yeah, he's our friend. He's nice. Woo, you know. But you know the iron bar is going to rust. Just like Esau, Edom. That smell don't mean shit. Because in the end, he's going to turn into a Zack devil. Always. Okay. There's no ifs and buts about it, man. All right. So never trust thine enemy. That's first and foremost, man. All right, this is 2019. There should be a, a, a constant replay if you're in the truth or if you're just waking up that this devil is not a trustworthy person, all right? Why? Because John 10 and 10 tells you the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Okay, so that thief that's coming to kill and and, and steal, is and to destroy. Okay, is the so-called white man. That's the only program that the Lord has instilled in him. All right, and that's mainly because of of. You know, he hated him, but he's also using him also to correct the habits of his holy uh, children, of his holy family, okay, which is the Israelites, all right? You don't do what the Lord says. The Lord has sick Esau, Edom upon us. That's why you can't be friends with him because he is the Lord's whipping stick, all right? Right, so he, the Lord is coming, or hath come, to to show us, you know, this this uh, how can I put it? Has has shown us, let's put it like that. He has shown us that this devil can be trusted. Okay, and the only way to gain life is through him, not to trust this devil, man. Okay. Because that's how people, our people like to run down to Egypt for help. And when I say Egypt, that's the, the oppressor, which is uh, uh, who we're in bondage to to this day, man. Because the word Egypt means bondage. Okay, so the oppressor that's um, ruling over us is the so-called white man, which is Esau, Edom, man. Okay? So keep all this in mind, man. It's this, this uh, the way that this society is set up. Is for us to be under uh, Esau's rule, all right, and, and 
keep in mind, he still wants to hate you. He still wants to hurt you, man. All right? Let's go to this one real quick. Uh, go, uh. So, like I was saying, Isaiah 10 and 5 is the proof that the so-called so white man is the whipping stick of the Most High. Okay, it says, O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation, against the people of my wrath. Will I give him charge, a charge to take the spoil, to take the, the, the prey, and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? <clears throat> so, you know, the, the so-called white man is the belt of the most high, if you want to put it like that, you know. He whoops on those that, uh, especially the Lord's people, okay. That's why he's programmed like that. That's why the Lord put that thought in his head, okay, in Genesis, the uh, 47 chapter, all right, to kill uh, his brother Jacob. All right. So all this has to be rolling around in your head if you're an Israelite. Okay. In this day and age, man. Because assuredly, uh, as the scriptures are, are, are real and they won't go away void. Okay. They're going to come to light. All right. Like it says in Revelations, 12th chapter, okay? This devil's gonna come down knowing that he had a short time with great wrath, man, okay? And that's what we're getting ready to see. It's gonna get, get more uh, choppy. It's gonna get more turbulent. It's gonna get more violent, man, okay? Wake up, man, wake up. With, with the stop the BSing man shucking and jiving man come back to the heavenly father repent and get your uh, get your protection you know get your armor like it says in Ephesians the 6th chapter okay put on the whole armor of light man which is this word knowledge wisdom understanding the names of the heavenly father which is Yahweh <coughs> in the son's name which is Yahweh Shai man use those Okay, because uh, this devil is not for you, man. Okay, all this voting and and standing behind an idiot that don't make any sense whatsoever. And I'm talking about DJ Trump, man. Okay, he's all right with 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 bringing in the prophecies, man. I tell you, he he's doing his job just like Isaiah 10 and 5 said, man. And it's going to leave a lot of our people cut off, man. Okay? Because two-thirds are going to, hey, two-thirds are going to get fucked up real bad, man. All right? For their disbelief. So that's all I wanted to bring out, man. This is this is 2019, all right? The year of Karagma. All right? When that microchip comes out, two-thirds of y'all are going to run down to this devil, man. Okay, you take that microchip. Why? Because you're putting your trust in your enemy, and that microchip's gonna fuck you up. All right. The Lord's gonna gonna do away with y'all because of that uh, that way of uh, thinking. You're you're giving life to the image. All right, of the beast. Like it says in Revelation, the 13th chapter, all right? And when you read the 14th chapter, it says that you shall be destroyed with this, okay? So, hey, never trust thine enemy, 
especially in these days, man. You got to get ready to roll with the punches, you know? With your how about Shem, your how shot as your uh, corner, man. All right? So with that, I want to say shalom.